In this series of videos, we are trying to understand linear relations and a special kind of linear relations, which can be represented by the equation ax plus by equals to c. And we also see that in these linear relations, we really don't have any variable which is specifically independent and the other specifically dependent, right? So any one of those variables could be treated as dependent or independent. Question number five is, Almonds cost dollar twenty per kg, and raisins cost dollar fifteen per kg. A mixture is made that will cost dollar hundred and fifty. Plot a graph to describe this situation. Part B is write an equation to represent the situation, and part C is determine mass of almonds if mixture contains five kg of raisins. So that is how the question is, and I hope that with the help of previous four videos, you can do it on yourself. So try to answer the question, stop the video, and then look into my suggestion. My suggestions are, the first, let's try to write an equation, equation in the form of ax plus by equals to c. As we know, these situations can be easily rep represented by this form of equation. So elements cost 20 per kg and raisins cost 15 per kg amount is in dollars and the mixture is made that costs 150 so what has really happened is that we have added two types of dry fruits here so we have almonds and we have raisins and we just combine them together and make another mixture so that is how we are working on it and in this, we say that the cost of each is $1.20, and that is for elements. And let us say elements are represented by variable A. And then raisins, let me represent that by R, and the cost of raisin is $1.15 per kg. Now a mixture is made that costs 150 And whatever we make, that will cost $150, right? That is the thing. So that means we have to find how much of A is added to this mixture and how much of R, the raisins, have been added to mixture so that we get a cost of $150, right? Now, therefore, from here, we can write down our equation. So we have defined our variables as A is the mass of elements and R is the mass of raisins in our mixture. Correct? I'm not writing it, but you need to write it down. Let A be the mass of elements and R be the mass of raisins in the mixture. Now, if that is the case, then what is going to be the cost? Cost will be rate into the weight or mass. Correct? So we can write this as 20 times A plus 15 times R should be equal to the total cost of $150, right? So that gives us the equation. Now let's see how to draw this particular graph. Now whenever you draw a graph, we have one axis horizontal and one vertical. Horizontal axis normally will have independent variable and the vertical will have a dependent variable. Here we could take any one of them as independent since both are related, correct? So here we will have mass of elements and R represents mass of raisins. So let me write here mass of raisins. Right? And this mass, actually this is in kilograms. Will be in kilograms, right? So this is in kilograms. Now when we multiply this mass with the rate we get the amount correct make a table of values here so we'll make a table of values here okay and the whole idea is that we'll give some values to a and find the value of r so that this equation is satisfied so we'll give some values to a and then find the value of r which will give me total of 150 so let us say a is zero. If A is zero here, 
then what is r r will be equals to 150 divided by 15 correct so let me show if i put a as 0 then this is 0 plus 15r equals to 150. So r is equals to 150 over 15 and that gives me 10. So I get a as 0 and r as 10. So that is a good point to start with. So a 0 and r 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that becomes our y-intercept. Now here in this graph, y-intercept is telling us that if the mixture contains only raisins, then how, how much raisins are there, correct? Now see, we can do a similar calculation and see what happens to a if r is 0. So now I'll get another point and I'll write, let r be 0. If r is 0, then we get 20a equals to 150 or a is 150 divided by 20 use your calculator and then find it out so you'll get this as 7.5 15 divided by 2 half of 15 7.5 so we get here you say well if r is 0 then a is 7.5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Point five. We get this point. Now you see this relation is a linear relation and therefore we can join these points. So once you join these points you get a line. This line represents at different intervals the amount of elements and raisins which when mixed together will give us a mixture costing $150. For example, let's look at this point. Now at this point, elements are 1, 2, 3. Let me write 3 elements, right? And raisins are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Now if I plug in 3 in for A, what do I get? I get 20 times 3 plus 15 times 6. Now 20 times 3 is 60 and 15 times 6 is 90 and when you add that up you get 150 that is the dollar amount correct so this line actually represents the ratio in which elements and raisins can be added to give an amount of 150 dollars do you see that we can look for other points and do similar calculation correct so you can try this out so i'd like you to fill this table up write at least four points right now it is important to note that in this particular case i have connected the line and the reason is that we can have 20 point we can have any way right the mass could go in decimal numbers like we had here in 7.5 correct so we can connect this line since we can have fractions of elements or raisins in this particular case so part B is write an equation to represent the situation. So we started with the equation and the equation for us is 20 times mass of elements plus rate of raisins which is 15 times mass of raisins is equal to 150, right? So you see this equation is of the form Ax plus By equals to C right so we have two variables and both of them are dependent on one another and this equation gives us a line a straight line which can be plotted on a graph and we can choose any of these variables on x-axis now part c of the question is determine mass of elements if mixture contains 5 kg of raisins now to answer this question we can do it both graphically or algebraically. Let's try it graphically. So sometimes you may not get accurate results. Determine mass of elements if mixture contains 5 kg of raisins. So 5 kg of raisins, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll draw a line from here and see where it strikes. So it's kind of close. 
and we get something like this from our graph, right? As I said, graphs are not very accurate, but they do give you an idea, and the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's close to 4, right? Now, we'll try to solve it algebraically and see what do we get. So algebraically, we'll replace R with 5 in our equation and calculate the mass A of elements. So we have 20 times A plus 15 times 5 equals to 150. Now, that gives us 15 times 5 is 75, right? 5 times 5 is 25 and 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2, 75. So we have 20 times A is plus 75 is equals to 150. Now from here, we can take away 75 and divide by 20 to get our answer, right? So we'll calculate A as, we can write here, A is equal to 150 minus 75. So I'll put them in brackets and divide by 20, right? Divide by 20. And then we get our answer. So we can use a calculator, say 150 minus 75 is 75. And when you divide by 20, you get half of 70 point with a decimal here, right? So it comes 3 point, 3 goes, 2 goes 3 times 6 and 15. So 3.75. So that is the answer. So this point which we see here, actually is less than 4, so graph is not that bad, and 3.75. So we can write this point as, if the mass is 5 kilograms for the reasons, then the mass of elements is 3.75 kilograms. So that becomes our answer. I hope you appreciate how we got the solution of this problem. And you also understand that from a graph we get approximate very close results but algebraically we can get very accurate results here we got a result which is correct to two decimal places do you see that so that is how we normally do these questions and i hope you understand the concept of using two variables which are kind of related and solving them with the help of an equation like ax plus by by equals to c or using a graph as shown here i hope you're enjoying this continue with five more questions on this topic and by the end you'll be an expert thanks and all the best